for us to work on those. You sure. Know? And, and it's, you know, they're just not, I mean, the love songs are, you know, I mean, if, if Charlie writes a love song, you know, to his, you know, about his wife, you know, we recognize, you know, what he's saying because it's, you know, we know, we know his wife, you know, yeah, she's our yeah, family. Yeah. And so, That's cool. and so we know what he's writing, you know, and the same with me, you know, when I write something, you know, they, you know, the boys understand what, you know, what I'm writing about. So, um, to me, I think that's the, you know, that's the one thing. And I think as we move forward in some of the songs that we're, new songs we're working on, now they all share similar, similar values and similar concepts. So we all can relate to what mm-hmm. each of us is bringing to the table. This is Mark. What I want to follow up with, with what Mike just said was that I think our songs uh, on our next CD are going to be a little, a little more eclectic in terms of where the where they're sourced from, where they're coming mm-hmm. from in terms of uh, lyrics and stories. Um, because I I have a song uh, about my daughter. Mike has a song about, um, like a song about somebody he's worked with. And, and, and we all, and Charlie has some songs just kind of about uh, universal love. And, and so we all uh, um, are bringing just all these various, uh, subjects to the table, and yeah. and and uh, it'll be it'll be interesting when we put that whole album together. And I think one of you mentioned maybe we were uh, off air, but that that new CD that you're working on, you hope to bring that out in the fall. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah, we don't have a, we don't even have a name for it yet. We're kind of waiting until we get all the songs assembled. Yeah. I mean, we probably have we probably have enough material to do. You know, several, you know, create several CDs of, you know, um, you know, 12 to 13 songs. But I think we're just trying to cherry pick the ones that we want. Yeah. You know, yeah. some of the songs were written many years ago. Okay. And that we perform them on a regular basis right now. But we just have never taken them to the studio. Yeah. Okay. And so, so that's really, uh, I think the, you know, the one thing we want to look at. Uh, but it's, you know, they're, the songs are, you know, also about everyday life, you know, things yeah. that go on, you know. Uh, what is it like, you know, what what experience do you have with your kids or or your family or just something that happened to you during the day? I have a song called um, Traveling in Time. It's about looking at old pictures, mm. mm-hmm. you know, just finding an old box of pictures in yeah. the closet and, and, you know, and, uh, you know, sitting down, not expecting that you would do this, but sitting down for an afternoon just going through those old pictures, looking yeah. at what, you know, what your life was like. So. What is what is playing out with this music look like for you guys? Is it uh, more kind of local, regional? Or are you getting further out than than your home state? What is what does that look like? And is it kind of a weekend thing, or do you guys get to travel a little more than that? You know, basically, we for the for the most part, we are just playing locally at this point. Um, we you know or regionally in the states, you know, we're getting heard throughout Minnesota. We do some some playing over in Wisconsin. Uh, but that's pretty much it, and we haven't really expanded upon that, you know, expanded upon that as of yet. But uh, we're looking to get out more, um, and you know, in the future, and doing a little bit more of that. So, so the hope is to like to, visit, to make this grow a little bit. Then, yeah, we'd like to visit you in Virginia, there, Greg. Yeah, so. that'd be awesome. We'd love to have you. We'll we'll have to find a way to make that happen. <laughs> so. Um, the the new C oh, you, you don't have a name for the new C D. The current one that's out is uh Cotton Valley Store. Uh if folks would like to get a copy of that C D, they want to reach out and learn a little more, interact with you guys, tell me tell me the best way to reach your website, where where can you get the music? This is Mark. Uh our, our website is riddlebros dot com. R I D D L E B R O S dot com. Okay. And uh we have uh our CD for sale, uh, our music for sale on the on the website itself, and you can find out a little more information about us. And there's a way to contact us there as well. Okay. We're also on Facebook at uh, Riddle Bros Band in Facebook. Okay. And I, I I noticed you had some YouTube videos as well, right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. And if you go if you go on. Um, on our website, we do have a media page where you can see some of our live performances. Yeah, good. All right. 
Well, I certainly enjoy the music and uh, wish you guys the best. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to getting a chance to hear the new CD, and um, uh, hopefully uh, the listeners will get a chance to check that out and, and uh, be able to find you guys live somewhere. So we appreciate you being on with us. Thanks, Greg. It really is fun. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thanks again for tuning in to this episode of Americana Music Profiles. Find us on iTunes at Americana Music Profiles and on the Internet at AmericanaRhythm.com.